The first production Rivian R1T electric pickup was built towards the latter half of 2021. Over the course of the next few years, Rivian added the R1S SUV, rolled out its commercial van, and has now shown off some pretty cool new models to come. But it's time to update the R1 family of vehicles. This is the automaker's first refresh, and it's done a fine job of improving vehicles that are already pretty darn good. Before I go any further, I need to share that Auto Trader's parent company, Cox Automotive, invested in Rivian back in 2019. It holds zero sway over my opinion of the automaker, and I'll happily tell you if something isn't good, but it's still worth letting you know all of this. Okay, on to the news here. The R1 family of vehicles has entered what Rivian is calling its second generation. Although they don't look too different, some big changes have been made. The truck and SUV are now less complicated, have a battery system that's easier to repair, and are more efficient and more powerful. Regarding the complicated part, Rivian has changed its electrical architecture as it pertains to the vehicular control systems. Previously, the automaker employed a domain-based setup that required a ton of different ECUs. Basically, you have a bunch of little electric brains all over the place. Now the R1 platform uses a zonal based control system which requires less wiring and ECUs. In fact, the amount of wiring reduction at play here can be measured in miles, 1.6 miles actually. And that ECU count drops from 17 to just seven. I'd love to know how much 1.6 miles of wire weighs because I bet it's a not insignificant amount. Producing these vehicles also requires less strain in terms of the CO2 emissions generated by the entire process. The R1 platform vehicles now have a 15% lower lifetime carbon footprint, while the manufacturing CO2 emissions fall by nearly 50% compared to R1 vehicles from 2022. Rivian redesigned the modules for its large and max battery packs. They're now easier to repair as techs can get access to them far more quickly. The truck and SUVs also get a new heat pump based thermal system, more efficient 22 inch aero wheels, and updated suspension and air springs for a better on-road ride. Rivian says this causes no hit to the off-road capability, which is good, especially if it improves the on-road driving experience of the R1S. That prior version had some uncomfortable behavior from the rear suspension, especially compared to the pickup, which is partly due to the different wheelbase length and how it related to suspension packaging between the two vehicles. On tri and quad motor models, Rivian has a fresh in-house design drive unit. The dual motor units are also built and designed in-house, but it's that quad motor model that will have everyone talking because the power numbers are impressive. That is 1,025 horsepower, 1,198 pound-feet of torque, and a zero to 60 mile per hour time of just under two and a half seconds sounds. To me, it sounds crazy that we're talking about four figure horsepower pickups and SUVs, but crazy awesome. In terms of max range, you'll have to look toward the dual motor models, which deliver nearly 420 miles for both the truck and SUV. A nice middle ground between power and range, however, lies with the new tri-motor version. This model uses a motor up front and two out back to deliver 850 horsepower and 1,103 pound-feet of torque. Visually, the vehicles look nearly the same. There are some fresh wheel designs and the light bars front and rear have been tweaked. Later in the year, an over-the-air update will activate an adaptive lighting feature that adjusts your light based on oncoming traffic. It sounds the same as Audi's Matrix laser tech, so it'll be interesting to hear how Rivian achieves this on its R1s. In the cabin, you're treated to reworked visuals. The artwork is powered by the Unreal engine, so it looks awesome and runs smoothly. And soon you'll be able to take your hands off the wheel as Rivian says the second gen R1 platform is just about ready to turn on that feature. The camera resolution is better and the internal computer processing power much improved. And those work together to make sure a potential semi-autonomous system has the computing power it needs. If you're looking to jump into an R1S with a dual motor setup, the pricing starts at $77,700. That's for one with a standard battery pack. The truck with the same setup is $71,700. Tri-motor trucks start at 101,700, while SUVs start at 107,700. Finally, the quad motor pricing for either model hasn't yet been announced. Dual motors go on sale first, followed by tri-motors in the summer and quad motors later in the year. 
And that rollout will hopefully get us to a point where the rollout of the R2 and R3 models doesn't feel as far behind because those more affordable options are sounding better than ever. We just need to, you know, get there already. <laughs>